Hi and welcome to this short video on the Seagate GoFlex desk external hard drive. This is the USB 3.0 version. They have the essentially same thing in 2.0. It is backward compatible to 2.0 and you can use it on both a PC and a Mac. And we just plugged this into our Windows XP station here. It's about the same on Windows 7. And we got the notification that the drive was found down in the system tray. And uh, sometimes you will get a pop-up asking, hey, what do you want to do with it? We did not get that here, no big deal. But you can see here we have just opened up the My Computer icon and here we can see Free Agent GoFlex Drive. Double click that. And here we have a setup. Now there's also some, uh, some Mac files here and you can configure this so that it is either Windows and Mac compatible or just Mac, but we're using it on a PC. We're just gonna leave it as is. We're gonna double click this setup icon here. Now, the first thing you get is the opportunity to uh, register your product. I'm going to uh, click cancel on that and say never register this drive. Uh, that's up to you whether you do that or not. It's not a bad idea, but um, for the purposes of this video, I'm not gonna bother. Going to select English, it makes it a lot easier for me. Here's the welcome, click next. And again, United States. Here's the license agreement. If you want to, you can uh, have your attorney for about $500 look over that and see if you want to agree or not. We're going to accept it as is because, uh, well, you always do or else you just don't get to use it. Now here you can install the backup program that comes with it, it's Memeo. It's actually not a bad program, but what you have is kind of a stripped down version that's included or they would certainly like you to uh, register for the premium backup. They have an extended trial, but it's still a trial and at some point they're gonna want some money from you. I'm gonna uncheck that. I've got backup programs, um, well, I've got plenty. Here's a sync uh, program also, and this is a way you can actually uh, move files between computers, but again, it's an extended trial. I think the program works pretty well, but you would have to pay for it uh, after the 30 days. And that would be just if you wanna use this particular GoFlex desk external drive to do that for you. So we've unchecked the, the backup program and the sync program, I'm not gonna install them. And all we're really going to get is a little utility that gives us some options we can set on the drive and we can check the health of it. Now also, uh, I believe that the software is required to show the uh, capacity usage LEDs on the front of the drive. It'll show you whether it's like 25% full, 50%, 7,500% full of the drive itself. It's on the bottom of the front of the drive. And it does say something somewhere I saw where you have to have the software installed for that to work. So if that's not working for you, then maybe you don't have the software installed. And like so many other softwares, it uh, requires Microsoft Visual C++ 2005. Boy, that's current redistributable program or set of programs, perhaps I should say. And now we're installing the .NET framework. Again, uh, a lot of Microsoft bloatware that a lot of uh, lazy programmers feel they need so that they can write an application for Windows. Oh, that's just my commentary. Uh, everybody uses .NET framework. It is bloated. A couple hundred megabytes of garbage. Uh, a lot more than what you need simply to display a few uh, options on the screen, a few windows and such. Well, we finally got through all the Microsoft bloatware and now it uh, is actually installing the software for the C8 dashboard. This is a little bit older solar machine, so it took a little while on a new machine. It doesn't take very long. And usually those new machines have that bloatware already installed. So now we're going to click finish and you can see the box is checked to launch the dashboard. We'll do that. And note that the commentary on the bloatware, that's, uh, that's my opinion and it's totally free. You don't have to pay a bit for that. <laughs> If it didn't take so long to install the software, then they wouldn't be giving me time to make my commentary now, would they? Okay, here we are at the Seagate dashboard. If you had more than one device, you could choose between them with this drop down here, but we just have the one. We can click on drive settings, and as you can see, it's already showing us usage of the drive, how much uh, space is free. My applications, which, you know, there are none on there. We, we do not have the instant backup, premium backup, or any of that kind of stuff. And they're advertising that along the bottom. There's even a share and a send and just really don't uh, want that. Uh, now you can check the box at the bottom to uh, display Seagate dashboard when the drive is attached. We're gonna leave that un unchecked because there's really no need. But if you pop open the drive settings here, power settings, uh, your external drive will go into power saving mode after being inactive for, and I believe the default was never, but you can set it to a lot of different uh, options here. I, I wouldn't set it to anything really low, but we've got to set to an hour. Here are the LED settings and uh, the LED lights will uh, point to indicate drive activity and you can turn those on or off, they're on by default. You can test the drive, which we're not gonna do since you're working. And here's some drive information. And it tells you what the file system is, NTFS, which is gonna be 
what it is out of the box and compatible here for, for Windows easily enough. And again, there are some files on the GoFlex itself here for, for a Mac. That's really about all there is to it. You can set some options with this and, and there are some other applications, but for the most part, people just want to back up. And one of the things that we did with this drive was we did a drive image on a brand new uh, Dell workstation that this is going to be paired with. And as you can see, there's just a lot of space left over. This is a two terabyte unit. I believe you can get in one terabyte and three terabyte uh, also currently. And again, if USB 3.0 is available on your machine, it will operate a lot faster. If not, and very well not be if you're seeing this video uh, soon after I'm recording it, there are some add-in cards that you can get fairly reasonably. I'll have a link to that also. If you do click the link in the description to this video, you'll be able to go to my website, get some more information on this uh, Seagate GoFlex, uh, the free agent. Get a link to both the drive itself at uh, Amazon, if that's where you would uh, like to find out more about it, and also that 3.0 USB add-in card that uh, your PC may or may not accept. Double check that, that is compatible with your machine before you buy it. So that's it for this short video. Please come to my website. You can just click the description in the link to this video. You can find out more, and we will see you there. Thanks for watching.